Hi everyone, this is Amy and Andy, and we're here today with Crystal Stokes of Crystal Stokes Photography out of North Carolina, a fabulous human and an amazing and award-winning wedding photographer. Make sure you're telling us where you're watching live. Say hi in the comments below and get ready for Crystal to drop some knowledge. She'll be talking about her three tips for establishing trust with clients. One, have fun, be genuine, and be yourself. Two, see the beautiful in people. And three, have their backs, rain or shine. If you have questions for Crystal, let us know in the comments and we will do our best to answer them during the interview. And if we don't get to all of your questions and comments, we'll definitely follow up afterwards. How are you, Crystal? I'm good. How are you guys? Awesome. We're good. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. We're really excited to have you. And I'm excited to be here. And your hair looks awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it. And uh, Crystal was kind enough to share a, a bunch of photographs with us, so we are going to jump into a sharing of screen and uh, check out some of your work as we talk about your tips for establishing trust with clients. All right. So the first tip is to have fun, be genuine, and be yourself. So tell us about this, Crystal. Um. Well, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought, you know, having I mean, fun. That's a little we bit just of went fun. right for a fun, a fun photograph, right? You know, honestly, this was the very end of the session, and I just got these really fun animal heads. And I asked my bride and groom, I was like, hey, what do you guys think about? Let's throw these on. And they were like, um, okay. And then when they got the picture, they were like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And they sent it to like all their friends and family. Just, I mean, it's silly. It's just fun. It's lighthearted. And it just sort of establishes. Um, you know, we already had a relationship at the beginning of the session, but just, um, just that I, that they can trust me, even though it's silly, um, that it could be fun. So <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, no, and awesome. this, and this is the same couple. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the story behind this is we had actually hiked to the top of, uh, it was in Asheville. I can't remember the name, some pinnacle, um, at sunset, right? Um, and then we got up there, I actually got there a few minutes before they did. And the view was amazing at sunset, right? Well, like five minutes later, as they're coming to the top of the mountain, the fog literally rolls in and there is zero view. Granted, this isn't the top of the mountain. This is on the way back down, but they were like, oh my gosh. And then the rain comes in and it was just this crazy weather. And they, we hiked all the way to the top of this view. Um, but on our way back down, I saw this tree and um, they actually had to walk back into this crazy little area. And I was like, this, I think this is going to work out really cool, guys. Let's try this. You know, put a light behind them, took advantage of the fog uh, and gave them something unexpected. You know, they were expecting this gorgeous mountain view, but instead they got this sort of heart shaped tree around them with the fog. I, I just feel like um, a lot of times brides and grooms are afraid of the weather um, but I get kind of excited when it's different because we all love sunsets, you know, that's an automatic gorgeous shot. Um, so when you can give them something, uh, despite the weather, that's really, really beautiful and uniquely them, uh, I feel like on their wedding day, they're just gonna be like, go for it, whatever, do your thing. Uh, because I was, I, I don't know. I feel like I was able to give them something special and different. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really enchanting. It is. Love it. So, so getting them into a place where they're doing something unexpected is part of that, um, you know, establishing trust with them where, where they, they trust your advice. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, on this, the thing is, is, is even if I, you know, talked to them beforehand, the, the, the first time you have the opportunity to gain their trust is when they're on the other side of your camera. Mm -hmm. Um, and whether it's showing them the images as the session happens on the back of your camera going, Oh my God, look at this. That's, I'll tell you what, that's one thing I do do with clients um, is I get really excited when I get a, what I think is a good shot. You know, I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And they automatically get excited and it just, it, it, you know, it builds on that. And, and oftentimes I will, I'll say, Hey, check this out. Look at this. I'll be like, Oh my God, I, I had no idea that you saw that or that could have happened. 
but, uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's our first opportunity to gain their trust is um, showing them that, hey, this might seem or feel weird, but it's really kind of beautiful. Awesome. That's great. So um, let's jump over to this uh, BTS, BTS shot of you standing on a table. Yeah. Uh, right over their heads. So I think another thing is just feeling confident in, in what you're doing, where you have to go to get what you need to get. Um, while, you know, you can obviously see that I'm there and he probably noticed I was there. The more you do this type of stuff with your clients, the less they actually realize <laughs> that you're doing. Oh, that's just Crystal. Ignore her. That's just, you know. And so, yeah, I jumped up there because I feel like it, it was just sort of an, I don't want to say ordinary moment because nothing that happens to each couple on their wedding day is ordinary. But um, I wanted to really get a perspective that was different from the expected. Um, so, yeah, I just jumped up there, pop, put my little, you know, viewfinder up and, and got that angle. Uh, and I was able to get a pretty... Pretty cool shot. And, and you know, I would like to think he's smirking at his friend, but it might be because I jumped up on that table. So <laughs> that, That's great, though. Yeah. Really, really great emotion. I mean, whether he's smirking at you and when he looks at that, remembers that you were standing on the table <laughs> to get, get the, the, an awesome photograph for him. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a really a beautiful, I don't know, it's just a really like, a, I feel like it, a beautiful moment. I don't know taking something that's, like I said, ordinary and just seeing the beautiful inside of that and being able to, um, to give that to my client. Awesome. Love so, it. so based on, on just how you kind of finished that last sentence, um, the other thing that we had talked about um, with you and, and something that when people go to your website and when, you know, prospective brides and grooms hit up your website, I think one of the things that, that people catch on right away is that, you love to see the beautiful in people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And um, and that's one of the things I have a video on there and it says, um, and in it I say, I see the beautiful in people and I truly want them to see the beautiful that I see. And I'll never um, deliver an image that I feel is, uh, you know, epic or fancy if, my, if I don't feel like my clients are beautiful inside of that scene or that moment. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I'll see things, I'll be like, mm, that's a really pretty scene, but they're looking a little, <laughs> and you know, I don't want anybody to ever see themselves that way. I really want them to see the most beautiful um, parts of themselves. And, and I see it, I, I truly think if I had a superpower, like that would be it. Like I see beautiful <laughs> everyone. That's I love awesome. that. That's, yeah, that's beautiful in itself. And I think that uh, kind of leads really well into this, uh, the story of this uh, photograph. Yeah, man, let me tell you what. So her, this this bride, her name is Meredith, and she is actually an extraordinary photographer herself. Um, and she had asked me uh, at some point in her wedding day to take a portrait of her uh, that was similar to a portrait of her, of her mother and yes. of her sister that hangs in her, um, uh, her mother's home um, on the wall. And it was basically a very simple black backdrop. Mm -hmm formal sort of bridal portrait. And the, the thing that happened was, is that we forgot to do it in the beginning of the day. And it was the very end of the night. They had already left, already had their grand exit and <laughs> left in the car. And she was like, we're coming back anyways. And I was like, well, let's just, let's just do it at the end of the night. So I sort of set this up in advance. So I didn't have to do a lot of test shots on her. And um, she was a little worried. She was like, girl, I'm a hot mess. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know if this is going to work out. I said, let's just try it. Let's just do it. You look gorgeous. It's amazing. And so we just set this, it, you know, it's just this random spot. Um, and we ended up being able to get the portrait that she was looking for. Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty cool that I was able to do that. And I've already talked to her and, and she's really, really happy with the shot. And, um, I'm excited that I could give that to her, you know, at the, at the, at the very end of the night, very last second, you know, her hair, makeup's done, everything. And uh, she was concerned about, uh, you know, the fact that she'd been sweating and dancing for the, <laughs> for the last couple hours. But, uh, you know, I just, I, I saw the beautiful and there it is. She's, she's amazing. And, and was that something that uh, you, you remembered at the end of the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually remembered it. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. 
that probably meant a, a ton to her as well that you actually thought to remember that. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, the, the thing is with a wedding day, you know, the beginning just goes so fast. Everything's just happening so quickly. And, um, there's so much emotions leading up to, you know, the ceremony, the first look, all those things. And, um, I'm just really happy that we were able to do this and, uh, and give that to her. Yeah. She's super excited about it. That's cool. So, um, one, one of the other, um, probably one of, uh, if, if Amy and I could, could pick a favorite photo of yours, um, mm. Absolutely mm -hmm. love this photo and and tell us how this sort of like lends to that idea of you know really seeing the beautiful in people. Obviously, uh, you had to get in close for this one and, and find an interesting perspective. Yeah, you know, I just it, it was midday when I when I took this shot and you know the light super well actually I don't remember what time of day it was but the light was super bright um, and I just saw them sort of like pass by each other and. I don't know, it has this sort of like um, very connected feel. Uh, and, and honestly, when I was doing this picture, when I was taking it, I remember saying, guys, I want to try something. Um, it might work. It might not. Um, but let's let's just go for it. And I think that's part of, of gaining other people's trust is just being confident and, and trying things. Because if I'm like, let's just go for it. It could be awesome. Maybe not. And and it's different. It's cool. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it tells a story of just these two lives that sort of come together, you know, I don't know, yes. but they were, they were totally game and they went for it. And again, uh, one of my most amazing couples, they're awesome. And on their wedding day, they were like, just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I love that. I mean, I feel like the engagement session really is such an <laughs> epic time to take advantage of gaining trust and saying let's do something that may be different um and and showing the beauty that you see and it just again the connectedness here is, is what i love so kind of another uh another kind of similar <laughs> i guess perspective right tell us about tell us about this yeah so this is meredith again and uh and her husband and so I had to get really close for this shot. Um, she had a really gorgeous, uh, I think it's a cathedral bell. Is that what it's called? Like a really super mm -hmm. long bell. Yeah. Um, and I knew that she wanted some cool like bell shots. Um, not to say that this showcases the veil shot, but for this, I had to literally get inside of the veil <laughs> um, to get this shot. And just having like, I love the fact they were like, just get in here. Let's do this. And, um, and being able to provide them an image like this. I don't know if you have the, the other shot where I'm yeah. oh, sharing, some, sharing some personal space. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we love it. That's so great. Yeah. yeah. That's where you like, they're like, yeah, let's get this shot too. Like, let's do this. But yeah, that, that was, that was pretty much my perspective, but the other way, but man, that sunset was like glowing behind him. I was like, this is amazing. I mean, I was literally like freaking out inside this. This is so beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, man, I love them. I just want to shoot their wedding all over again. Aww. That's so great. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, couple, couple of comments, uh, couple um, of comments from Facebook land. Sure. Amy's going to hit you up with some comments, and there's a couple questions. Okay, so we have lots of people shouting out to you. Brian Carter and Matt Gruber, Dave Shea. Um, Brian Carter is wondering what your favorite modifiers are on wedding days. Okay. And Elstra says, hey, Siv loves the photo that we were just saw in such interesting light. Brian Carter also asked, how would you describe your style? Jason Vincent said, hi. Chris Lynn said, this image is so creative. Love where the couple's eyes connect. That was on a previous photo. <clears throat> and Steven said, such a killer photo. Leah, you're an awesome, lots of just love on this <laughs> sweetheart. But oh, so the it's question, a Brian, couple of Brian's yeah. questions. What are, uh, what are some of your favorite modifiers? And sure. um, if you had to say, what what is Crystal Stokes style? Yeah, uh, what would that yeah, be? sure. So. Um, 
the modifiers like magmod i adore all of their modifiers like i don't have any reception shots in here well there we go use magmod for that so i had to yeah. um i had a grid on um that was two lights one on each side of this couple um and pointed right at them because i really wanted the light to just be on them so i love magmod love their grids their spheres um use them all the time another little gem that i've used for like ever is um it's a westcott rapid box mm. i think there's some other versions of that now that um <laughs> but oh do y'all do y'all love that one too <laughs> oh my gosh it's got the best like soft light for being such a Thank mine's you. like 22 inches or something like that nice. um yeah well how big is it yeah yeah we I have a 26. 26 i think it's 26. okay it's probably it's probably it's probably whatever you want yeah. um Never yeah, it's, just, about it. it's an it just pops up has a nice and i love that thing man i mean even during some reception i'll use that and i'll just have like my um uh portable like my light stand which is actually human just carrying <laughs> carrying it around um yeah <laughs> <laughs> aka my husband so there's that too yeah <laughs> but yeah um <laughs> I do. Those, those are those are probably my favorites. Like the definitely all of the Magmod stuff. Um, and that little rapid box is pretty stinking epic. Like I, I I use that a lot for a really beautiful soft light, and it's so portable. Great, cool, good questions, uh, Brian. Um, oh, oh, and your style. Oh, style, yeah. You know, I think. Style. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hit that one up, and then we'll go to your last tip. Yeah, just real quick. So style, um, more so documentary than anything. Um, I don't like to orchestrate parts of the day or um, act out parts of the day. I mean, I definitely will involve myself. I might say the window lights gorgeous over here if you want to put your dress on here. But I, man, more than anything, I just want to document things as they are um, more so than um, man. There's so many times I see things and I'm like, Ah, I wish this was happening or I wish that person was over there, but I, I don't ever, I never want to interrupt. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so my, my, so I would say my, my style is documentary and I know a lot of people say like dark and moody, but I mean, when things are dark and moody, then <laughs> I just feel like I should shoot things as they are. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely more so documentary than anything. Oh, I love this. I love them. Yeah. Kind of speaking of that, that style. Just letting it happen, well, I right? Wish, yeah, I wish I'd sent you another uh, picture um, of their engagement session because we actually did it at their um, their home, and it was amazing. Like their backyard, their dogs, their kitchen. They drank wine, ate cheese. Because I, I asked them, I was like, "What do you like to do on a regular basis?" And they're like, "We just hang out at home and <laughs> hang out with our dogs and drink wine and eat cheese." And I was like, "Oh my god, that's amazing! Let's shoot that." And then at the end, they were like, "Let's just do a pillow fight just for fun." Well, they had the pillow fight and it was amazing and then there were feathers everywhere and i was like let's take advantage of these feathers i'll have to show you guys sometime but uh it ended up turning out unbelievable so their first look um their venue was the one to the back left in this image and they were like where should we do our first look i was like what do you guys think about doing a first look from across the street like he was on the right <laughs> side of the street and, she, and they were like i don't know how i feel about that and i was like Listen, I'm here for you guys. We'll do whatever you want. Last second, they're like, yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, this was not orchestrated at all. This was their first look. This is the moment he like got to her across the street and they had this kiss and these pets, like, like they're not even there to these past survivors. Like, you know what I mean? Like that is so cool. It's like this frozen moment in time that is just theirs. And I don't know, like, I, like, I think it, this is like one of my favorites. And I love the stop up there. It's like, stop. But nobody's like stopping to watch, you know, like yeah. they're still having this like yeah. really cool moment. I don't know. I think it's, it ended up being, and I, you know, guys, this is the thing. Like, I don't always know if things are going to work, but I'm always going to be there to take pictures of it. You know, and it, I feel like things great. always work as long as you're inside of what's happening. Right. Does that make sense? It makes yeah. tons of sense. It's a great, it's a great photo, like you said, for so many reasons, but I mean, it's so amazing. Like, don't you guys realize there's a bride and groom kissing each other? Stop! You're so busy in your life that you just yeah. don't buy it. It's really awesome. It's like nobody even looked back. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, okay. uh, Dan is uh, clearly messing with you and wants to know if your southern accent is real and can you shoot his next wedding? 
And uh, somebody named uh, Joshua Stokes commented when you were talking about your <laughs> your light stand. So he's more than just a light stand. He's my everything. <laughs> cool. that. Yes, he's amazing. So um, your last tip, which we love, and I think this this really is something that that you're known for. We see a lot of your photographs pop up in the rain. Um, and I don't know if that's just because it rains a lot by you or you're just really lucky. Um, but you, you always say to your, your uh, couples that you have their backs rain or shine. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So let's, yeah. let's hit up some of your rain or shine Boom. Rain photographs. Yeah. So. yeah. So man, this wedding, it was crazy because I remember walking in the bride was like, oh my gosh, the weather's crazy. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And she was like, yes. Like, I remember her telling me after the wedding, she was like, as soon as you said that, like, like her shoulders just dropped, you know, like she felt ease because I'm going to take care of her no matter what. Like, yes, we all dream for epic sunsets, but what is more beautiful than an epic sunset? Something different, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, an epic rain shot. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know how to say this is epic. This is, it, it's just a really sweet <laughs> moment. I mean, Yes, this was during their portraits, but they were literally like leaving and the rain's falling off. Gosh, I love them. I love this. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just, it, this, this is their story. And so mm -hmm. while we all have expectations of what should be, like we can't control what is. And so the thing is, is just embrace your story. And this is their story. And it's really, I don't know. It's really, it's just beautiful, you know? It's just so beautiful. And that, that obviously speaks a lot, lot to you too, because, you know, you could definitely see everyone, you know, a potential major freak out with the rain, but look at, look at them. They're having the best time. Man, she was like, I'm going to just wear this dress one time. It can get wet. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, awesome. Let's do this. Man, it was, it was amazing. Like they embraced every bit of it, their entire bridal party. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, good. Um, there getting, there's Josh back there. Do y'all see him? My, my human light stand, he's back there somewhere getting absolutely soaked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually see him, but yeah, he's the light, light makes the rain. So you know what? That's a pretty big deal. He lights up the rain. Yeah. Oh, and Magmod's back there with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, That's awesome. And this is, this next one is from the same. I'd love yeah, so this is kind of weird. Of yeah, so this is a reflection. Um, and I use my 45 tilt for this shot. Um, yeah. And so the puddle is actually what I'm shooting into. So the rain's hitting the puddle and then it's sort of where it smooths out in the back. And it looks like they're drowning, but they're really having a great time. And it's, it's kind of weird. It's weird. It's different. It's, you know, like this is, I don't know. I guess this is my version of creative. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's incredible. It's awesome. Amy was freaking yeah. out when you sent us this one. So yeah. we, like, what are they doing? They're we love it. Oh, <laughs> super rad. Um, what's up, Jared? Who just tuned in? Um, Shiv said, uh, Shiv from SLR Launch said uh, she loves your quote. I don't always know it's going to work, but I will always be there to take photos of it. Words to live by, she said. Um, and Chris mm -hmm. said that uh, he can definitely tell your love for your clients is genuine and inspiring mm -hmm. and he can see why they trust you. And Dan said, um, honestly, that your favorite photographer and your drive and your passion and your love for your couples it is just incredible and your vision is so inspiring. And I think we're all crying now. Yeah. But you're amazing. So, you are. And those words are all true. Those words are all true about you. <laughs> Thank you. You're incredible. Love you guys. <laughs> and, uh, we love you too. We really do. Hey, hey Jared. You said hey guys. Um, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but I mean, you can. I just love. I I absolutely love because I think I think a lot of a lot of wedding photographers freak out like oh there's it's there's going to be tragic weather, um, but this is such a great example of when your clients trust you. Look at their expressions in the midst of this potential tragedy, right? So, yeah. And so I was, I went to yoga this morning and she said this thing. It said, she said, make your pain your strength. So it's, it's sort of the same way with the photography. The things that are, are pain in the butt, like, let's make that our strength, you know? Like, let's make it special to whoever we're, you know, working with. Let's, let's make that. Let's make 
our pain in the butt, their beauty. <laughs> it's not a pain in the butt though. It's exciting. Like if, if you look at it as a challenge and exciting and oh my gosh, let's give them something that we haven't given anybody else because cookie cutter is boring, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're getting, you're getting more mad love on Facebook here. So, um, <laughs> we have, that yeah. So, um, really appreciate those tips. Um, establishing trust, having fun, being genuine, seeing the beauty in people, having their backs rain or shine. Um, and uh, we are going to jump over really quickly to slrlounge.com. And we're going to check out some of the recent mm -hmm. award submissions. And Crystal's uh, been so kind to us so far, and she's going to be even more kind. And we're going to jump on and uh, we have just enough time to take a look at a photograph uh, that was submitted by somebody. And um, when, when we thought about you and we thought about, you know, if, if people had to say, like, what's Crystal's style and talking about having people's backs rain or shine. Uh, when we looked on the award submissions before, we were like, oh, this is right up Crystal's alley because... Clearly, there was a massive wind that came up right at this <laughs> moment when they're coming out of the church, when everybody's, you know, going to congratulate them and, and whatever. But so we, we wanted to, you know, kind of hear your thoughts about that. Um, I, I love this image. I mean, I feel like I don't know who the photographer is, but it's absolutely amazing. I mean, they're in the right spot at the right time. I love the wind, the movement in the image going through the hair. Um, man, she's about to catch that veil that's flying off. The bride's freaking out. And you know what's really <laughs> cool? The bride is perfectly framed inside that door. And she's even wearing like a little crown on her head. You know, no, I know it's, <laughs> but, you yeah. know, it, like, she, well, that's she true. Is really, she's really well framed, like right in the door. And you can like, so my eye immediately goes to her. And then I sort of start looking around the picture and you got this lady on the side that's like, oh my God, what's going on? And then you have these other guys are like, oh my gosh, what's happening? The bridesmaids are like, ah. Um, so I love that I go to where I'm supposed to. Um, yeah, man, this image is incredible. Great. Are you so, me a um, shot? Yeah, if we had to uh, give it a, uh, a rating on composition from one to 10, what would you, what would you say? I would say compositions. I a 10. I mean, I, I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Rad. Uh, so the other category is story. What do you think about the story? I adore it. Um, it did take me a, like a split second to figure out what's going on. Cause I just saw this hair like flying one way, but I don't know any way other than just taking the picture to tell it. It took me a second to figure it out though, but man, I'd say between a nine and a 10 here again, like, Okay. Cause I'm like, what is going on with her hair? Oh yeah, it's the wind. And then I see the bride, and she's like, oh my god, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then how about timing? Oh, ten, dude, on point. Like I love the fact that she hasn't yet grabbed the bell, right? Yeah. Like she's a like she's it's an almost like if she'd already grabbed it, it wouldn't be nearly as exciting. It's like the yeah. almost is always so beautiful. The almost is always better than the is. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the more you talk about it, the more you, yeah, you, you start to see like how really awesome this photograph is. I would love to see the picture, like the three before or the 10 before and the 10 after, like that would excite me because I'm like, this is the one. Yeah. And how about post-production? Um, it's, it, I think it's pretty much on point. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to go nine. nine. How about you, Nui, think about the, the black and... Yeah. Black and white's your jam, so. I agree. Yeah. I, totally I mean, I think that the only the only thing that I think could change is the contrast. I'm very contrasty. It, it could be a little higher and then maybe darken down the um, okay. well, people on the outside a tad. But, I mean, it's, it's right. a, I don't, I'm, I feel like I'm getting super picky at this point and <coughs> because it's such a rad shot, you know? Mm. It's awesome. So, you know, there's always a couple little tweaks, but so uh, the really cool thing is, so uh, everyone, at, everyone who's watching, you, you can see how much fun it actually is to score awards. Like that's pretty fun, right? Um, and yeah. then hit submit, we can see who it is. <gasps> Matt Stallone. Matt Stallone. I mean, Are we Facebook friends? Because 
we're about yeah. to be. And then the other cool <laughs> thing is you can see kind of how you stack up against like the other people who judged it. So uh, we came in at a nine six and the average score so far is like an eight point nine. So it's like a nine. Aww. So it's somewhere in that. I nine, love this guys. I'm all, I'm like, nine, such a nine range, so. like I Good live job, for Matt. stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. Awesome Great. photograph, Matt. Crystal, you are absolutely amazing. You are so fun. You and are. um No, you are so fun. <laughs> you know you know you. <laughs> so yeah, so uh so we've we've kept you for a, a good thirty ish minutes here. So we're going to uh we're gonna let you go. Thank you um, so much, guys. Like this was so much fun and I really appreciate you asking me to hang out yeah. and talk. Yeah. Um David West says, How do? And uh, you got some more love from people on here. Oh, guys, I love the love. <laughs> awesome. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you for tuning in. And for more of Crystal's work, check out her website, crystalstokes.com. And you can also check her out on Instagram at, at Crystal Stokes Photography. And uh, our next episode on April 10th, so that's two weeks, we'll be with the incomparable Trevor Daly. Um, I know, right? We're, we're, oh my gosh, Trevor Daly, stop it. I, know, I love right? him. He's amazing. Crystal Stokes and then Trevor Daly within two weeks. Amazing. Amazing. Um, everything I know from Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, he was actually my very first workshop I ever took. Like, long time ago. He's amazing. Oh, no lie. Yeah. Wow. Whenever we have Lightroom questions, we YouTube it and Trevor comes up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, yeah, definitely tune in for that one. Yep. So we're going to be talking with him about uh, some of his tips for working with lighting modifiers, which is totally in his wheelhouse, 100%. Um, and everyone out there uh, on Facebook, don't forget, you can submit for SLR Lounge's March Awards. You have a couple days left. It's open until the 31st. We have 31 days in March, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, if you are a premium member, you can do three submissions. And if not, everyone out there can get a free account and submit one award a month for free. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you back here on April 10th.